As a result of his work, Rudd won the confidence and praise of many important Catholic church leaders, both within the United States and abroad. Some of the individuals include Cardinal James Gibbons, Archbishop of Baltimore, Cardinal Henry Edward Manning of Westminster, England, and Cardinal Charles Lavier, Archbishop of Carthage and Algiers and Primate of Africa. This is not to say that Rudd did not have his critics. For example, Joseph R. Slattery, the head of the American Josephites and the unofficial leader of the African-American apostolate of the United States, worked at times to undermine Rudd's ministry, demonstrating that he had little confidence in the editor. Yet, after extensive study, it appears this lack of confidence may have owed more to a streak of paternalism and slattery than into real deficiency in Rudd. Throughout Rudd's ministry, he retained a positive view of the Catholic Church. In his editorials and speeches, he communicated a persevering hope that the Church would live up to its egalitarian ideals. Even when this divine institution denied educational opportunities to black students or was slow to ordain African-American priests, Rudd remained faithful, placing the blame for the racial prejudice he encountered among his co-religionists on wayward individuals within the flock rather than on the official doctrine of his beloved church.